We live in a time of great challenges, but it's also a time of great possibilities. The climate is changing. Society is unequal. Not everyone has access to healthcare. And new technologies often create losers as well as winners. To solve the world's problems, we need new ways of thinking. At ChallengeWorks, we're all about unearthing unexpected solutions to big problems. Our challenge prizes level the playing field, and they give plucky underdogs the chance to compete with the big players. I was paralysed when I was 14. When I was 16, I was looking at my chair thinking, one day I will evolve the wheelchair. I became a founder by accident. I realised that actually I was the exception to the rule and that there were many, many, many people who looked like me and from a similar background to me, but because of where they started out in life, it was really affecting where they would end up. My colleague, who's also leading this project with me, he's a molecular wizard, but he has no idea about health, or he didn't back in 2016 when we started. Krakenflex connects to millions of what we call distributed energy resources. Our ambition is to make sure that the way we use these assets, the way we consume electricity, lines with the greenest and cheapest electrons that are available. Our solution is Lodestar DX. We want to be able to diagnose UTIs properly at point of care. What we're doing is creating the ultimate career support system for overlooked talent, helping to connect them with the information, advice and guidance that they need to make informed career choices. We entered the Toyota Mobility Unlimited Challenge with our idea, which would give wheelchair users for the first time a lightweight chair with intelligent capabilities. We took part in Dynamic Demand Challenge. Until that point, we didn't have a business, we didn't even have a name. As a result of that hackathon, we got to the next phase, which gave us access to some funding, some expertise, but importantly, the first idea and gave us the room to start shaping that. We took part in a program that really allowed us to be innovators, really kind of supported us with a number of different stakeholders that we never previously had access to before. The biggest benefit of the challenge, in my view, is it focuses sometimes on ideas that maybe commercial venture capital firms, incubators, would actually not. It's really helped us attract more funding. We've gone on to have investment and grant success. I feel this has been a real impact in participating in the Challenge Fund. Our research is now out there in the real world making a difference, and that's really exciting. I feel you know, genuinely privileged, if not a little pressured, to, to deliver on it but what we do is going to be amazing. I think if the Challenge Fund believed in us, then others will believe in us too. Over the past 10 years, we've worked on 81 Challenge Prizes across a variety of topics. Over £77.9 million has been awarded in prize money and seed funding. We've worked with 12,823 teams of groundbreaking innovators, 603 prize finalists, and 188 winners taking their incredible ideas to fruition.